More than one million customers shop at Co-op every day. The consumer cooperative Co-op is one of Switzerland's leading retail companies. With a workforce of around 75,000 people, the group achieved sales totaling 27.8 billion Swiss francs in 2012. Some 11 billion Swiss francs of this amount was generated by the 823 supermarkets and megastores covering the whole of Switzerland. In 2010, Co-op launched a new offensive entitled Logistics and Baker Strategy 2015 Plus, which is designed to optimize and realign its locations and processes. The strategy is focused on reducing logistics costs and CO2 emissions. The main components of the Strategy 2015 Plus include shifting transport from road to rail, concentrating locations and investing in improving logistic processes on a sustainable basis. The idea, cross-docking, density and loading processes for roll containers with ultra-fresh goods and meat products were to be automated in the BAM distribution centre. Ultra-fresh products have a shelf life of under four days. Previously, these goods were packed onto roll containers in a cross-docking procedure from 6pm to around midnight for the various stores, which incurred high handling costs. Meat products were next in line from midnight to 10am the following morning, all in a chilled environment which caused the staff additional discomfort. To facilitate the density process, the goods are picked in a predefined sequence and delivered on roll containers or pallets. Each container or package is labelled with a sequence number and point of sales information. As the ultra-fresh products on the first run have to reach the point of sale before the store opens, cross-docking is given the highest priority. Consequently, Co-op's requirements for an automation solution were extremely sophisticated. In addition, the space available and the technical conditions in the almost 30-year-old building had to be taken into account. Another challenge was the huge array of different packaging and the challenging phase of commissioning during ongoing deliveries to the point of sale with a very tight window for testing. After reviewing the offers, Co-op compared the solutions of the various suppliers of logistics automation and ultimately selected Dematic as the right partner. Zum einen war es der Preis und zum anderen What swayed our decision was firstly the price and secondly that Dematic was the only supplier which could handle the constraints of the building. The original plan was to install the system on the ground floor. Dematic developed a customized system and material flow concept for Co-op. The solution consists mainly of an automatic depalletizer a captive model 6-aisle multi-shuttle storage buffer with 54 shuttle vehicles for the storage and retrieval of the packages in an exact sequence as well as a station for the automated stacking and loading of the roll containers. In fact, the system was only supposed to handle cross-docking and the ultra-fresh and meat product segments. The idea of also using it to pick dairy products has delivered a further decisive advantage. The two product lines together give us our return on investment on the whole logistics system. We handle dairy produce during the day and fresh produce at night. The product mix works well as the dairy products have to be picked in the afternoon. The investment therefore pays off faster, even if the multi-shuttle buffer storage had to be larger. At Cobb, a warehouse unit which is 33 meters long and 4.5 meters high was built with 6,500 bays designed for the double deep storage of 600 by 400 millimeter packages. To achieve the required highest output, each level and aisle is equipped with a shuttle which retrieves and stores goods while a lift transports the units to the right goods out zones. What is special about this logistics centre is that we installed the multi-shuttle in the basement. We had the building already and we didn't have much space for integrating the system. The system is managed by the Dematic Warehouse Management System with an interface to the primary WAMAS host system. Co-op handles different types of packaging which the system has to automatically process and transport. 
Apart from three different package types used internally at Co-op, this also includes meat boxes and different packaging for the dairy products. One of the main highlights is the system's flexibility. It can generally handle any type of standard packaging we use. The stacking rules were another important aspect. Here we were able to replicate the respective point of sales layout, which simplified the process of stacking goods on the shelves of the store. This saved personnel having to go to and fro between the shelves. This is how the flow of goods works. There are two depot points in the inbound goods zone, one for automatically unloading the pallets and one for roll containers which are brought to the depalletizer station on a chain conveyor. The goods are initially removed in stacks by a portal robot before the individual layers are placed by a de-stacker on the conveyor system where the packages are separated. Depalletizing the articles into one or two layers depends on the weight as well as the type of packaging and the resulting height of double layer packages. The articles are partly stored in stacks of up to six layers to ensure the multi-shuttle storage buffer is optimally filled, with each storage bay stocked with the same articles or with goods destined for the same store. The stacking factor therefore has a direct impact on the capacity as well as the efficiency of the system. From 3 p.m. onwards, the logistics process for dairy products starts. The multi-shuttle then covers three goods outlines at the same time in the outbound goods zone. Each of them is equipped with a retrieval line, package stacker and a roll container loading station. A roll container is fully loaded per line in the exact sequence. Thanks to the superior performance of multi-shuttle, the sequence of loading, meaning the sequence in which articles are to be deposited on the roll container, is prepared directly on the retrieval line. This dispenses with downstream technology for generating sequences, which simplifies the process and economizes on space. If specific articles are only available in stacks of two, and if the store requires an uneven number of packages, the stacks can be separated again before being shipped. The surplus package is then transported back into storage. Paternoster package stackers are used for the final loading of roll containers for dispatch and handled via a pusher. The final stage involves an employee securing the roll container with a lashing strap and taking it off the conveyor system. The performance data of the system, which is kept cool at a steady temperature of between 3 and 5 degrees, are impressive. The three goods outlines in use have a throughput of 800 picks an hour. With an operating time of 20 hours a day, this amounts to between 48,000 and 96,000 picks, depending on the stacking factor. Daily operations have shown that the higher the volume and stacking factor, the greater the performance. On slow days, the stacking factor comes to between 1.1 and 1.2, and on busy days, to between 1.5 and 1.2. The system also offers a great deal of flexibility in other ways too. Adjustments can be made relatively swiftly and simply. The new solution not only improves the bottom line, but also benefits the employees. Compared with what we had before, the system has enabled us to significantly improve on ergonomics. Originally, the cross-docking process was a very intense process as it was handled manually. Each member of staff moved between 5 to 10 tons per shift. Now that everything is automated, there is much less physical strain on the staff.